We're building a peat and pole plane, and it's a one-seater with a small engine. We're building a uh, experimental ultralight wind airplane. So it's classified as an ultralight. You only need a, a sport license to fly it. It's a really nice project. Uh, they're building a little airplane that was designed in the 1920s called a Pete and Paul Air Camper. They're all youth that we've recruited from high schools and some of the other areas around Gwinnett County. They just need to be between 13 and 17. We have been working on this one, um, I think, almost a year. There's a lot, lot of people that have many hours in this project. Me, personally, I've been building it for about a year and a half now. And it is a project that we meet every Saturday to do. We build the plane and just work on it. And eventually, we're just going to be fully built and we're going to be able to fly it. We started this a year ago and all we had was the basic fuselage and some ribs for the wings and we've done all the work since then. I would guess probably another six months till it flies. Probably one of our youth will fly it. We picked the project up from a gentleman in Barnesville, Georgia. He's a woodworker, 90 years old, his eyes were failing, he could not complete this one. So we took it off his hands, we brought it up here and he just donated it to the chapter as a project for the youth. You know, they've learned some new skills. We're learning how to use a lot of stuff that if I wasn't a part of this, I would never have learned to use. And before I joined, I knew nothing about planes. And just in the short while that I've been a part of it, I've learned so much. Well, now I know like how most of the airplane systems work. So if something goes wrong, I can know from prior knowledge from working on this that maybe this doesn't work or maybe that doesn't work. And working in this project has opened many doors for me as a person and um, the uh, community out here that can come out. It's, it's a great opportunity for people to um, get together and work on something that they might be a little bit interested in or completely interested in and pursuing a career. It's, it's just a great thing. We're always welcoming new folks into the program. A lot of the folks that you've seen here today are probably new within the last two or three months. The easiest way to contact the chapter is through email, either at info at eaa690.net or they can contact myself directly through the email president at eaa690.net. It's a great way to learn and know more about anything really.